um, out here kind of demonstrating that we have a, a machine that operates and does hovers over the top of the trees and uh, thins the tops and then we manually thin the sides of the trees with um, uh, an operator driving the tractor slowly with the operator uh, moving physically by hand the thinner uh, with the circumference of the tree, to, uh, the shape of the tree, to try to do as good a job as possible to thin the fruit out, to um, you know leave enough load that we don't cause a problem with uh, split pits or things, but take some load off. And we've been realizing larger fruit, uh, more tons delivered, and um, and I've been doing it for a few years. And with my trials that I did last year, um, I feel extremely confident. And it's one of the tools that we're using that. Uh, that uh, has been very beneficial not only in cost savings but higher yields. California Camp Peach Association uh, invested some money and bought the Darwin string thinner and they mounted in front of a tractor. It was very awkward and it did not you know get a lot of the fruit and so everybody gave up on it. So I basically got that concept and and modified it and had it more mobile and more different angles to it and with the v-shaped type of planting of trees it's worked you know quite well the biggest benefit of it is that we put it in a manner of on a pivot point with a long arm which allows us to follow the circumference of the tree and which the the conventional darwin thinner basically was designed for an apple orchard with a trellis system that just kind of followed a, like a wall of trees. And um, by just doing a little uh, modification, and it's very simple modification, just about any farmer with a, a welder and a torch could make one of these things. And one of the reasons that we're doing it is one is cost savings. Uh, labors are getting very difficult. And the trial that I liked the most was the trial number three, was we string thin tops and sides and then in May, we came back with a basically a, um, a broomstick pole with a rubberized end. And a man f physically just broke up the clusters wherever there was you know, too much of a load of fruit. But it's about $350 an acre input cost of total thinning cost compared to the conventional thinning is upwards to nearly $900 on the same orchard. Something unexpected was at the time at Pitt Harding in May, we had larger sized fruit than the, uh, the trees that have not been thinned. And so, and that related to leaving more fruit on the tree, which re related to more tons delivered. And so, uh, so our big benefit is more yield, less input, and uh, the far as the negative side of it, you're not going to be able to use it every year because if you have a light set, you don't want to do something to be detrimental to, you know, uh, your, the fruit set and you have split pits or something like that. But if you have a light set, there's no reason to use it anyway. But some people fear that, well, if you're taking the fruit off now, you're taking a chance of, uh, you know, prone to frost or hail damage or something like that, and you're going to be more susceptible of you know losing the entire crop. If you have more fruit on there, maybe you could salvage something. But um, from the conventional non-string thinner compared to uh, using a string thinner and with the trial number three, we had an increase of three tons to the acre paid for, you know, delivered. And so not only the savings of uh, thinning cost, it's the, um, you know, the, a larger return, you know, your bottom dollar.